Hey everybody, how's it going? Look at this, I got chains for everything. An eight inch, a 10 inch, a 12 inch, a 20 inch, a 22, a 62. So, I had to run down to uh, Harbor Freight. I had to pick up a couple, couple tarps. You know, just to finish off the cat pen. Um, so that'll be fine. This will be the upper half. That'll be the lower half of the catwalk. Got a couple of these. Cheapy old $6. Yeah, they're better than nothing. Because I'm getting kind of low on them. And then, uh, oh, so here's the deal with my wheel. Wheel's supposed to come in today, right? So it says out for delivery. Well, it's like 7, what time is it now? Okay, it's 8.20. Um, so I, I saw the UPS guy up in town. So I stopped and I said, hey, do you have a package on there for me? And he checks his scanner and he says, no. I'm like, aren't you covering Bruce's run? He says, yeah. I said, well, then it's got to be on your truck. He checks his computer and says, no. I'm like, what the freaking hell's going on here? So I, uh, these are what I took with me when I bought the drill press, in case I had to take it apart, which I did. So I'm like, uh, I call the boss. I'm like, where's my freaking package? He said, look down. It's in your pants. I said, not that package. But. He says, uh, I see it's on a truck. I said, well, your driver said it's not on the truck. And he says, well, hang on. Let me go look. Now, I talked to somebody previously before him, and he never called back. Must be he had to go home and change his diaper or something. I don't know. But so he says, oh, yeah, it's, it's here. It's on the truck. I said, what the F is it doing down there? It's supposed to be delivered today, you know. And uh, he says, well, if you want, you can come down and get it. And he goes, or, I said, or you can get your ass in your car and deliver it to me. And he goes, hang on a minute. So he comes back and says, uh, yeah, the driver said he'll bring it up to you on his way home. I'm like, good. So he just left. And here's the box. And here it is. There she is. And guess what? I already took her for a ride. So there is the V8F. F for don't F and crash again. So she comes with almost a full battery, but I'm going to obviously top it off. And uh, so there she is. I mean, they got newer pedals on them, a little bit wider pedals. And... It's got the still pop out handlebars so you can walk with it, which is cool. So it's supposed to have the bigger battery in it, and it's got a lot bigger motor. It's a thousand watt motor that'll peak up to two thousand watts, and uh, and it's five hundred and twelve amp battery or some shit like that. I can't remember what it's called, but so you just hit the button once, turns the headlight and tail light on. And uh, it doesn't have, like my other one did, the headlights forward only. Now, my other one, when you went backwards, it would, the headlight would change back here. But, so, one little push, and off goes the machine. So, it's very similar. It's probably the exact same damn thing as a V8, but, yep. We took it for a cruise. I got on it, and it's just like I never got off of it. So, I like it. So, I'm seeing, as it's standing straight, it looks like the pedals have a little bit of reverse lean, which is cool for me, because I like my pedals tipped back like that. So, when you go forward, you don't have to push so hard up here on the pedal front to make it go forwards. So... There she is. And uh, if anybody gets one of these, you're going to be pissed at first. Because you're going to be pissed off. Because what's going to happen is 
you're going to turn this thing on. And the lights come on and everything comes on, but the wheel's dead. So imagine all the lights on, right? And the lights are on and you're like this, going, what the freaking hell's wrong with this goddamn thing? I said, what? It ain't freaking, it ain't doing shit. I said, what the hell do they do? They break it? You turn the light on and off and you're... You know, you're playing with this, playing with that. The lights are spinning and it's dead. So, then I got a brain fart, which really stinks. Kind of like a cow fart. I got the app. Uh, I signed back into the app. I forgot what all my passwords were. And it took it. And then uh, you go into the settings and you click unlock. As soon as I clicked unlock, it came alive. So... Yeah, you have to get the app and unlock it to get it to move. If it doesn't move, don't think it's broke. It's not broke. It's just you have to turn it on, basically. So I think that's kind of a safety thing for shipping that whatever, it doesn't turn on so it's spinning the tire all over the place. But this actually rides smooth. It, it'll take 40 pounds of air, and I run 35 like I ran in my other one, 35 pounds. And it went good. And... uh you know, I started off being careful. I hung on to my porch railing, and then I just leaned forward and let go. Off I went. It wasn't one of these deals either. It was just like, whee, and around the corner I went. It's like I never got off of it. So, I'm wicked happy. I've got my super gloves. I got my super hillbilly gloves. You can tell I was wearing these when I went down, when I crashed. Because they're all scunned up. And thank God I had these. I mean, and not these. Because I probably would have ground my fingertips off. So, I kind of really like these hillbilly gloves. Um, if somebody referred me to buying these. Um, some guy that changed his damn phone number didn't give it to me. Will. So, I got the hillbilly on uh, no fingers. And then I got the hillbilly with fingers. And I actually like these better because, you know, if I crash or something, you know, I don't want my fingers dug up. Of course, you instantly put your hands out like this. You know, you don't put your hands out like this. But so that's what I did with these. And uh, yeah. No, wait a minute. No, I didn't have gloves on when I crashed. That's from something else. I didn't have gloves on. I only had the helmet on. Yeah, that's right, too. I didn't have gloves on. I just had my helmet. That one. So, I am back on the road again with a V8, a VAF. And so now my dumbass has to keep an eye on the battery level because I actually think it was in the red when I took off like an idiot, full blast, and the battery said, and down I went. But, yep. I've been having a bad day today. My freaking, I woke up this morning. My shoulder, it feels like something moved in there. It is really throbbing. And even after I took the medicine, painkiller medicine, and the pain's going right up the side of my neck. Um, and my back, my back is just, you know, you ever get that back pain? It's just telling you, oh, wait till you turn the wrong way. And then it'll nail you. And that's what it feels like now. It feels like my my back is just waiting to, you know, dig that knife in there. That's what it feels like. But, well, it's been like freaking toy day here in Andy's garage. But... I'm a member of the Harbor Freight Chinese Club, so I got a discount on some of this stuff. I might end up using these to cut the tree down if I ever don't get my goddamn parts for that. Which I think tomorrow, the chain adjuster, all this gearings and shit goes in there. So, I think tomorrow they're coming. So, from Georgia. It's coming all the way from Georgia. So... As we know, things move slower in the south. That's why they didn't not here already. And it's been raining his shit out, so I don't think I'll get a chance to do some crack filling. 
But it's supposed to be nice the next couple days. And uh, I told Ezra, I said, we'll get all this shit mounted. He, he paid me for all this stuff, so that's cool. Where's my damn saw? I'm going to put these over here in the saw area. So I'm going to take my new toy back inside. And I'll charge it up. You know me, I always put everything where it goes. So now if I need my little saw, there's my little blades. That's how that's how I do stuff to keep track of shit. But so there she is. All sexy looking. Look at that. Got the nice little rubber bumpers on the side so you can't slam it into this cover here. Nice little bumperonies. And it's, it's grip tape, but then it's got a nice smooth rubber edge around it. And these pedals are um they're bigger than the stock ones. And I'll have to get used to them because I was used to the little narrow stock pegs, you know. And why my ruler's always backwards? These are nine and a half inches. So I think the other ones are only like, what were they, eight and a half, eight, something like that. But these are like the size of the V10s. So I got to get used to that. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if we'll put a mud flap on. Wow, they got more clearance under the back tire now. I just saw that. Because last time when you're driving down the trail and you get a stick in there, it's got a lot more clearance on the tire. Because I actually took a little grinder and had to grind this lip down a little bit right in here. Up in here. But this one I don't. But, you know, there's scratches all over this thing. That I'm seeing. That I didn't do yet. I just took it out of the freaking box. But. You know I'm seeing scratches. Around on these pedals. I don't know. Well it's going to get all banged to shit anyways. So. Hopefully not. I'm not buying a cover. There's no point in it. You know you put a cover on it. You can't see the. You know. The gay pride lights flashing. So. I got to keep the gay pride lights going. Yeah, it feels exactly like my other one, the V8. So, I'm happy. I just have to use common sense this time. You know, not be a freaking idiot and say, Hey, watch me. Wee! Splat. You know? All right. So, there she is. Right at the moment, I'm happy. Tomorrow, I may be plastered on the road. I don't know. <laughs> No, I won't be plastered on the road. Um, common sense. I just want to. I just want to cruise around. My damn tip just pulled off. What the hell? There, damn it! I made these breakaway because my wife backs out of the damn garage with the car. You know, still plug it in. Like she'll she'll get in the car and just back out, and that's why I make these breakaway. So, that's it. We're going to take this puppy inside and give her a full charge and let her take a nice little nappy. And then when I get a minute, I'll take her for another ride. But I was actually amazed that I got on it and went right down the road with it, just 10, 15 miles an hour and slowed down, did my U-turn. And I remember about these freaking things is when you, 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 <laughs> You turn with these. You slow down when you U turn. The pedals drop down like this when you're U turning. And I just remembered that because when I started slowing down to turn around like this, I'm like, holy shit, the pedals are tipping down on me. It's weird. I don't know why they do that. But my V8 did the same thing. So um, the other one I had, the King Song, didn't do that. The King Song 18L that I had right there so oh well that's it I think I'm uh, I think I'm pretty much done buying toys I got a few other things coming in from Amazon um, Ezra next door you, everybody knows Ezra by now I put a spotlight out there in his back yard it hangs off the back of his porch and it's just one of these. It's just one of these with an LED bulb in it. And I clipped it way up high on this porch, you know, on this porch. And it aims at this tractor. So every night, 
he goes out of the house, around the backyard, through the freaking mud, and he plugs it into the house to turn the light on to see his tractor. Um, knowing he's doing that pisses me off. So what I did was I bought him a weatherproof remote control switch. So it'll plug in, the box will plug into this house, he'll plug in his extension cord, and now he'll have an on and off button inside his house. So he can just sit there, you know, like this, and just push a button on and off. He'll never have to go out of the house again at night. Or if he forgets to plug it in, he'll be all set. So, yep, taking care of Ezra. He actually went down the harbor freight with me. He looked around. So, well, that's it for me. Happy day. I gave the guy $10 for gas for bringing it up. You know, I said, I know it wasn't your fault. It wasn't in your computer. Your boss told me that. I said, here, here's 10 bucks for gas. He says, really? I'm like, yeah. He goes, oh, thanks, man. I'm like, well, thanks for bringing it up. So that was cool. So there we go. There she is. I'm going to kick my wife out of bed, and I'm going to put this on her pillow and say, hey, how do you like that? She's mad as hell that I got one of these. <laughs> I'm like, don't worry. I got life insurance. Jesus. All right, everybody. I'll catch you later. Have a good one.